Welcome back, back talking skincare from decade to decade. Mm -hmm. uh, you're in your 30s. 20s. I take care of the 40s. You're, you're in your 20s. Wait a minute. That's not what I. That's not what your Facebook page says, sir. <laughs> Michelle Book joins us, holistic nutritionist with the Canadian Health Food Association. Welcome back, Michelle. Hi, Michelle. Always a pleasure having you on the show. And skincare. I think the most fascinating thing that most people find is it's not just what you're putting on your skin; it's what you're you're consuming. Is it even more important of what you're what you're putting in your body rather than on your body? It really is true. I mean, and what we put into our body is a complete reflection of what we get out, which is why right. we really want to think about what we're doing, especially through the decades, which is why, working with the Canadian Health Food Association, we've developed this great decade-by-decade decade guide. So starting in your 20s. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, that, this is for you, you Dylan. Know, maybe you've moved away, here. living on your own for yeah. the first time. <laughs> uh, you know, on a budget, we really want to think about how we can look after our skin more economically. So lots of great options at your local CHFA member health food store here in Ottawa. Um, coconut oil is fantastic. It works as a cleanser, a moisturizer, even great as a makeup remover. So um, you can add some sea buckthorn oil, which is high in omega threes and omega sixes. Make a nice moisturize, mo moisturizer with the coconut oil. Works extremely well. Also in our twenties, thinking about a multivitamin. Maybe our diet isn't complete. We're not eating as much green, healthy whole foods as we should be. So having a multivitamin is going to help, um, you know, round out our diet and make sure that. Uh, we're missing or, or, or filling any of those gaps that we could be missing. Right. And then honey you've got here as well, which you were saying before the show to us that it, it really is a miracle product if you buy the right one. Exactly. Unpasteurized is very important. Yes, right? you want to, again, at your local health food store, buy an unpasteurized raw honey because uh, that type of honey has a active enzymes in it which are antibacterial so it's going to work very well on our website chfa.ca we have a great raw honey mask which okay. is so simple easy to do and uh, works extremely well so you're saying that people can actually uh, cleanse with honey yes so yep. you're, you're talking about rubbing honey <laughs> exactly. Right, that, just right? sound, that doesn't sound natural, right? No, it doesn't sound it, like something people would do. It does. And again, the recipe, just take a bit of honey, a, a couple um, drops of warm water, rub it into your hands, and then apply it to your face. I like to let it sit for five or ten minutes before okay. I go to bed, mm -hmm. and uh, it works extremely well. Wow. Yeah. Let's move great. on to the 30s, which I am yes. part of. 30, 39. <laughs> yes, of course. <laughs> Into our 30s, we really want to be thinking about vitamin C. Okay. And vitamin C is really important because it helps with our collagen formation and we know as we age uh, our, our skin you know the collagen in our skin decreases and we get thin thinner skin fine lines wrinkles mm. so we really want to try and fight that right. through having lots of vitamin c so lots of great um foods citrus fruit is high in vitamin c and kiwi Okay. A lot of people don't know kiwi is extremely high in vitamin C. I was shocked to hear mm -hmm. that when yeah. we talk, we're talking in the green room. That's not something people, you know, we immediately think citruses, right? Exactly. Orange, lemon, lime, but kiwi was a real surprise. To yeah, me. so and it's great and there's lots of vitamin C serums and different powders that you can find that you can add to your shakes or smoothies or even just your water uh, to boost that vitamin C. Wouldn't any fruit, though, uh, I mean, uh, host vitamin C? Yes, a lot of fruits and vegetables, and spinach as well. A lot yeah. of people don't think oh, about okay. spinach. Spinach is also, and, and probiotics, thinking about the skin in our 30s. A lot of research is being done on the gut-skin connection. So making okay. sure we have that good gut bacteria is really, really important. And then into our 40s, we think about, um, you know, free radicals and uh, some of the damage we're exposed to when we're out in the environment through sun exposure. So really right. making sure we have a lot of antioxidants. Again, at your local health food store, you can visit our website, chfa.ca, type in your postal code, find your local health food store. Okay. All kinds of great options when it comes to antioxidants, um, you know, to prevent that free radical damage. Also, sunscreen, especially this yeah. time of year. A lot of us don't think about it. We'll go out, you know, even for half an hour. Having a good mineral-based sunscreen is very, very important because the sun is extremely damaging to the When skin. you say mineral-based, what do you look for then in a sunscreen? In the sunscreen, you want to make sure the main ingredients are zinc, uh, zinc oxide, oxide or titanium dioxide. Okay. And these are minerals. They're going to go on your skin. They're going to block the sun and provide a protective layer, hmm. which is what you want. Okay. And then into our 50s. That's not us. No, by I, the way. I don't. Yeah, we're not, we're not close I'm to not that. Even, I'm not even understanding the words you're saying here. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah. That's so great for you. <laughs> Thanks, Michelle. No All right, problem. when we get into our 50s. Into our yeah. 50s. Into our 50s, you know, we know that um, vitamin D is manufactured in the skin from the sun's rays, but as we age, that ability to manufacture that vitamin D decreases. So we want to make sure that we're getting enough vitamin D uh, through supplementation, especially as we age. Even if we're th we think we're out in the sun a lot, we might not be getting um, enough vitamin D. And, you know, being indoors, a lot of us live a inside type of life, so even in right. the summertime, considering vitamin D. Mm. Now, I also have this great green tea exfoliant scrub, and it's available on our website, chfa.ca, and it's so easy to make. And that's the thing about everything I've been talking about today. It's about finding more natural alternatives yeah. at your local health food store or in your kitchen cupboard. So I have this great recipe. All you would do is brew a, um, a, a cup of green tea and take the actual leaves and you mix it in with just a little bit of sugar. So mm. why why sugar? Sugar well sugar is acts as the exfoliant so it's going to give you that little bit of this this the actual scrub oh, I to see. make okay. to make the scrub component. Right. And you just you can see here you just mix it in mm. and um, it's it's so easy it works very well on the face or even the feet after a long long day. And also in our 50s and as we age argan oil thinking about argan oil is really, really, it's a great option in terms of um, helping with age spots and even fine lines and wrinkles. So Where does that come from? What is argan oil? It's Moroccan oil. A lot okay. of it, a lot of people think about it for their hair, but research actually has found that it works very well on the skin, especially on the face. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Yeah. Which decade would you say people are more concerned about their skin or where you start noticing it? I guess it's probably when it's almost like, quote, too late, right? I think, you know, as we <laughs> get into our 30s, uh, later 30s, 40s, we start seeing a little bit more of those fine lines and wrinkles. Yeah. That's when I, the, the bells and whistles, I think, go off. And it's really about, you know, any of these steps or, or uh, tips you can do at any point. It's just about the more we can do later on, the, mm -hmm. the more we're going to see those those results. And there's no danger, I guess, in combining all oh. of these to, for your regular skin care regimen, right? Exactly, exactly. And again, on our website, cheshire.ca, we have all kinds of more tips about, you know, different things to look for. We can also consider, um, you know, looking for organic, gluten-free, even vegan. There's lots of different choices when it comes to products. Mm -hmm. How's that for a segue? Organic, gluten-free, we're talking wow. gluten-free utopia right after this segment. Michelle, thank you so much for joining us. Thank really you. appreciate thank you. it. Again, uh, we'll be right back after this talking about gluten-free utopia, all things gluten-free, in including skincare, as a matter nice. of fact. We'll be back with that right after this.